Well, since we have jaw, I will draw plan informal part. This part, I will introduce you how to link the element to your entities in your home assistant. So you can control the devices in your floor plan. Through this part, we will use a vector graphics editor. Uh, I'm here using Inkscape. Of course, you can choose another tool. So first of all, let's just go to the website and download the software. I will attach the website link below the video. Once we download the software, just open Inkscape. The first thing we need to do is to change the document properties. So we can show our footprint in formal format. Just click the fire and choose document properties. Here we we'll choose custom size and change the units to pixel. And choose the width and head, whatever you want. So I'm um, here is 20, 1080. And then open the resource page to content and make sure everything's zero. Besides, make sure the scale X is one. Then it's okay. After setting up document properties, the next thing you need to do is to import the footprint you just draw. Just click fire and choose import. But for me, I'm using the final work I'm finished for further introductions. So here's my footprint. It's well finished. But yours must be blank without any icons or any tags. But it's okay. Let's do it step by step. After you import your footprint, just make sure that it fits your document properties well, not too big or not small. Then we can start to add some elements into your floor plan. First, let's just add some icons into your painting. You can draw the icons by yourself, but of course you can download it from the internet. Personally, I tend to use threadicon.com quite frequently because it has large libraries for colored icons. But of course you can use another website such as Font Awesome or Material Design Icons. It's all up to you. Well, I will attach the links of some website that you can download icons below the video. So after download the icons, let's just import it into our floor pen. Just click fire and import. Here we choose one. And adjust it. Here we go, you just finish your first work. Quite easy, right? So just repeat this procedure for every icon you want to add into your floor plan. Next, for text area, you want to show value of sensors. We use text toolbar in Inkscape. Just choose it and create an area for text. And you put anything you want. For example, I've just input 10 and change the color. Besides, I change the font size of it. And here you go, it's finished. Please note to that the later you are typing will not show up at the front end of your end. So basically, you can type anything you like. The next step is to select. The area you just create, and then choose text, and then convert to text. Please note that this step is very important, otherwise, the floor plan could not recognize the area you just create, so the value of the sensor won't be shown at this area. If you want to use dynamic picture function like me, then we need to add a bank space for picture to insert into. For instance, here I'm actually showing a dynamic moon phrase. You can see that the day is winning givers. The picture is winning givers as well. So to do it, we use 
rectangle to this and just create one anywhere you want to put and here we go it's finished you may wonder how can we choose it since it's blank well the method is quite simple as well once we choose the whole picture you can see that every blank area we create is showing up of course you can use Tap key in your keyboard to change the element you want to choose. Like this. Here, I'm choosing the blank space I create for moon. After adding all elements into the plan, the final thing you need to do is to link them with entities in Home Assistant. Just open the Home Assistant and go to Stories panel. Here list all entity IDs of your entities. Just copy the entity you want to use and right click the element you want to link with. Choose Object Properties. Here's the panels for Object Properties. And just paste the entity ID and click set. Everything's done. Please repeat this procedure for every element you want to use. After that, just save the file. For now, everything about join is finished.